know what? I think it actually blew the mic. Did it? It went red. That's good. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today, me and Manny MUA are collabing. Mm, mm. And not just any collab. Not just any collab, <laughs> not just a YouTube collab, not just a podcast collab, but we have officially collabed with a book of our makeup brands with a full fantasy collection, which is our collection together. Are you joking me right now? Full fantasy. fantasy. Yeah. We already say that all the time. It's a part of the full coverage podcast. You guys have asked us to collab since the dawn of time and it is finally here. We have a mega collection coming out uh. this Friday, tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'll have everything linked down below mm -hmm. and you can buy it off Laurelly Los Angeles. You can get it off LunarBeauty.com. It does not matter which website you buy it from. I'm going to link both websites down below because if you want something off Manny's website, you can purchase it there. If you want something off my website, you can purchase it there. You're equally supporting both of us, regardless of what site. Let's talk about the collab a little bit and then we're gonna do a get ready with me and mm. we're gonna answer questions that hard you questions. guys, hard questions that you guys want to know. Y'all want some tea? tea. Y'all want some tea. Manny doesn't know the questions I picked though. Laura, I'm scared. I know. So first we have the Full Fantasy color palette. Ooh, ooh. so you guys, obviously when it comes to like the branding of it, like we wanted to marry our brands together to be like one thing, obviously Lunar Beauty is a little bit more spacey sky, very like intense packaging. And Laura's is more minimal, cute, girly. Yeah. So I'm like, how do we combine both forces to be one, a sun? A sun. A neutral aesthetic. It's it gave. Everything. You guys, it really freaking it gave It also here. has a texture to it, so mm -hmm. it's really interesting on the palette. And let's go ahead and reveal what the color story looks Ooh. like. Okay. <laughs> Oh my oh. gosh. Baby, I got as many neutrals in there as I could. <laughs> and honestly, I'm a neutral girly too though. So like. Nude prism. Um, Hello, nude prism. Copper eye, nude lip, Manny MUA. That's who I am and who I always will be. But we did add a couple pops in there as well. We got Aries, which I really, really love, but mostly neutral. You guys are going to love the names of these. A lot of the names of these shades have to do with our podcast. If you're not a full fan member, I'll link it. Full coverage is always in my description box, mm -hmm. but check out our podcast. We have a joint channel together. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of these names are inside jokes are inside jokes with you guys on the podcast like if you know, know you know so it's a lot of fun names in there this is a 48 dollar palette mm -hmm. 18 shades you mm -hmm. get a lot and my favorite thing is that big ass mirror in that Ooh. palette you guys, it's divine. We've been working on this collection for literally like a year and a half at this mm -hmm. point. Something that we've just been wanting to do for a long time. But we're like, how do we do this? How do we do this? How do we do this? We finally figured out a way. We figured it out. Okay, then we have a cheek palette because we wanted to do more than just blush. Mm -hmm. With my blush aesthetic palette, we went a similar route and I got really positive feedback on mm -hmm. that. Like adding a little bit of a highlight. I think people Love like it. having variety and being able to use one palette for multiple things. A hundred percent. We both have sickening cheek palettes. Yes. Now I'm like, hello, we have to make one. So we did four blushes, two highlighters you know i feel like this is a really good mix for people who are really fair like me more tan deeper in complexion because we have a huge range of stuff look at the colors and then this one is a little more like goldy this mm, one is a rose little more gold. rosy rose goldy mm -hmm. almost opaly whenever you swatch this one it is lighter i'm gonna say oh. so if you can see that mm -hmm. it does get lighter it's like more of an they're opaly. like oh they're so creamy blushes are so pigmented as so pigmented <laughs> that is 35 dollars. there's more Okay, so we each decided to do a bullet lipstick, Lanny and Mora. That's our, our ship names. names. <laughs> it's so cute. The fact that we're able to do Lanny and Mora, like that's what people like say, like if we were to ship, it's us. It's Lanny and Mora. So I'm like, we need to have lipsticks, a Lanny lipstick and a Mora lipstick. It's so good. It's perfect. And you guys, the bullet, of course we have a nice ombre. Ombre is very big in my line. So I'm like, that would be it really so cute. Pretty. It's so cute. Doing a beige to nude kind of ombre with a... <gasps> So you can just click the top, your lipstick bullet's well, gonna pop right out. And now these, the finish, it is not a deep matte finish. So mm -hmm. you're definitely gonna get a little bit of a creamier mm -hmm. shine with these, but they're not high shine lipsticks either. So somewhere in the middle. A cream sheen, if you will. Manny's is a little more cool tone and mm -hmm. mine is a little bit more of a warm tone, but we both, I'm gonna do them color, both. That was like color theory yeah. uh, is strong. The Mora shade is gonna run a little bit more on the peach side, a little more peachy coral. And Lanny is gonna run a little bit more neutral, cool, dirty pink. So we're gonna show you what these look like on our lips. So just hang out for our get ready with me because mm -hmm. we're gonna be using the full collection and you're gonna see every the full single collection. thing. Oh, these also have a bundle. Also, these are 14 each, or we have a bundle of the full collection on the side. If you guys want to save some money, it's 135 for the whole collection. But I gotta mm. finish showing you the collection because there's more. Uh-huh. We have a brush collection. And of course, the nylon, like Laura does these gorgeous nylon bags with Gloria Los Angeles, and they're so stunning that we have to do one that kind of fits 
the vibes of the collection. And it turned out perfectly. We have six individual brushes, and of course we have a collection with it and as you well. you kind of get oh. seven brushes, because one of them's a duo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love this collection, because we kind of took like favorite pieces from each of our makeup mm -hmm. lines. Like I love your fantasy, and I love the ombre. You love the nylon, yes. mm -hmm. some of the brushes. So we were able to like pluck and pull ideas from each of our line that we like best, mm -hmm. and like merge it all together. It turned out so perfect. The perfect like marriage of two brands, I feel. I feel. Like truly, like I feel like this is stunning. This Laura's is the only one that can pull a sun out of me. That's right. <laughs> so the first brush is this one. This one's my favorite. Mm. It is a fluffer, and I like to use this with a cheek palette to add a little bit of blush. I cannot mm -hmm. say the word brush and blush in the same it's too sentence. Much. It's too much. Boom. Then we have just an iconic eyeshadow blender. So this is a medium blender. It fits perfectly in my crease. It's are you literally a dream. And the perfect, this is like the perfect eyeshadow brush. All the num the names on by the way are like the numbers will be on the top of the handle. It, this is the number two brush and it's more of a smudger. A little boom, 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 boom. Or you can do on the top too. You know when you do like cream liner and you want to like smudge it out? Yes. This is our smudger. So perfect. So if you need a nice smudger that's going to be really good for like compact stuff, it's more of a dense brush. This is the brush for you. Love that. Next our dual end. Baby, the dual end. I love a pencil brush, but also a nice little flat packing or concealer brush. Yes. Kind of Depends on what you want, you guys. All these are synthetic bristles, so you can use them for creams, powders, liquids, whatever it might be, whatever you want to use it with. You can with these kind of brushes. That's right. And then we have two brushes in two different sizes. So this one, I mean, you could highlight mm -hmm. with this one, but to me, it's dense enough. Both of these are dense enough. You can use them with cream products as well. So if you want to blend out your concealer with this, 100% get away with that. Mm -hmm. Or you can use a powder product. Or highlight with it. Yep. You can do whatever. And then we have our nice little tulip brush. For me, what I like to use these brushes for is to pick a blush and pack on blush. Blush. Laura likes to use them for more of a contour, like I more like chiseled to use look. Contour. So it kind of depends on what you want to use it for. We wanted to create brushes that were really multi-purpose. So that's kind of exactly what this came out with. And obviously we have our like nice nude rose gold with an ombre bristle on it too, because we wanted to again marry the two brands together. And I feel like that's exactly what we did. Don't forget to check out this collection. Also, I will have Manny's collab video we did on his mm -hmm. channel. We did TikTok hacks and they mm -hmm. are hilarious, but some of them were. <laughs> they did. And some were horrible. And some were traumatizing. Some were horrific. But we did that on his channel, so be sure and check that out. I will have it linked in the description box. Mm -hmm. All of these different things, you're gonna love it. You guys, okay. honestly, the collection is truly incredible. It is. You guys know, like me and Laura have been doing this for so long. We've had a collection for a long time. Like, we're not gonna give you subpar things. We're no. just not those girls. So, no. you know, if you're buying these things, it's gonna be sickening. We're gonna put it to use to just yeah. show you Get this little wipe. Hey, I'm also gonna be reading off some questions, so subscribe. You should be spooked. You should be spooked. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get started glamming. First question asked is, what is the craziest memory you mm. share with each other? I, we cannot say oh the God. craziest. <laughs> we are women of peace now. We are. We are women of peace. But, you know what was crazy to me? Oh, tell me, I knew you Is when so. we were gonna get into that show in a different part of the country, but we are refused. Okay, yeah, yeah, Because yeah, of yeah. our faces and yeah. who we were. Yeah. Have we ever talked about that? I don't think so. I feel like I may have blocked that it. one out. You blocked it out of the memory. So what happened, you guys, we were in a different part of the world and we were going to this like really popular festival. It was a red carpet festival, not the Coachella type of festival. So we get there, you guys, and we go to the front. So we were the first group. It was me, Laura, and then two other people that were with us. Mm -hmm. And we go to the front and they go, this is not you. Yep. And we're like, what are you talking and about? And they're like, and you can't come in. This is like in 2017, 2016. We are surrounded by people. Everyone's taking photo of us. Everyone's like seeing us at this festival. Mm -hmm. So us four are getting literally mobbed hounded on the street and with mobbed. mobbed on the street. Once we find out that like they really are like, baby, you're not getting in. So we ran. We ran into a Chanel store. Chanel store was closed. They would not let anyone in because there's like a million people and paparazzis on the street. Yep. So we start banging on the door. We're in gowns. So mm -hmm. it's pretty obvious. I'm in a full suit. Full suit. Like it's pretty obvious that it's like we need help. So they mm -hmm. literally let us in. One of the girls with us buy a pair of shoes. And Just to be like, please, like please. we will buy something. Like we beg of you to like Bought let us. Bought some Chanel shoes and they let us stay in the store. So we end up staying in the store until we are essentially rescued and by the brand. And we get a car, a helicopter. To come <laughs> I was scared for a minute. Oh, I was scared too. And the thing is we ended up finding out like that the brand got fucked over. They were lied to and it ended up being like a 
complete scam, but we somehow were in that situation. We sure were. So that was probably one of our craziest experiences, I would say. I agree. When we're in the midst of a foreign country getting bombarded by people. And kicked out and of an event out. that we were never let in, technically. Mm -hmm. We didn't know that and neither did the brand. Okay, the next one is a yeah. random question. It's when you guys go out, who pays the bill or do you Venmo each other? Honestly, I would say 90% of the time, Laura pays. Yeah. And I Venmo. Yeah. That's literally what we do. Y'all wanted way, to know. I'm taking Pink Blossom here. And I've been mm. using Besties. It's my favorite crease color. I pretty much wear it every day. Such a good color in my lid. And then I'm gonna go Not My Vibe next just to build it up into the next round. Okay, oh, next gorgeous. question is icks about each other. Ooh, I love this one because it's Ics so hard. about each other? You have to say ick about me. You know, you don't do this as much anymore, but you use this all the fucking time. Is that you would always put your phone on do not disturb like at all times. Oh my God. And I was like, Laura, I swear to God, I will be disturbing you and I would go, I do disturb. I was gonna say, there is one. Yeah, Manny gets so sick of me and that shit. Don't I worry. will be disturbing you Disturby down. Disturby, uh. Can we just talk about this blush on me? <gasps> oh! Can we talk about this blush? It was literally made for you. Wait, let me do an ick. Give me, please give me an ick. Okay. Actually, I'm scared. I'm scared. Because you know the thing is, like, you Laura, you know I'm a Virgo. I'm gonna let you know. I know, but the thing is, I'm a spiraler. You are a spiraler. And if you say something like really mean about me, I will literally cry. My ick is that you're a spiraler. You are. Laura, you can't say that. That's your ick. I just gave you the ick for you. That doesn't count. <laughs> okay, let me you make have to another give me the one. Ick. I'm gonna take new champagne and gold fantasy. New Champagne Gold Fantasy, are you kidding me with the names? I'm done. Our names are so cute. I'm done. Please mm -hmm. give me an ick that's not a spiraler because mm -hmm. maybe you're an overthinker too. Let's have that conversation. I am. You also, <laughs> you am. be thinking. I do be thinking. You be thinking. You don't. <laughs> that's too much. That's why I keep my phone on do not disturb. You're so like, I can't even deal with y'all bitches right now. Exactly, so I can just pretend nothing's happening. <laughs> I saw this thing the other day and it was like people that put on their phone on do not disturb at all times are protecting their peace. And I was like, honestly, I I feel that and I understand it. And I will not let it be disrupted. Mm -hmm. I want Ooh, a bronzy eye. I want a bronzy gold. eye. Oh, I'm going bronzy. Look, but look at my cheek. You know what my ick about you is? What? I know, I figured it out. And oh. you can spiral, I don't care because I know you have new ones. Um, your old Air Force ones. Are you wearing them? No. He has Nikes. these dusty, crusty, busted, disgusting, black shoelace uh. from dirt, creased up Air Force ones. This man is wealthy. <gasps> and that is what he chooses to wear. <gasps> For like three months, I think that's the only shoe it's I ever true. saw on his foot. And I'm sick of Honestly, it. Honestly, you know what? I'm gonna give you that one because it's the truth. I who, did. Who bought you new ones? Nick. His brother had to buy him new ones. It's true, for my birthday he got me a new pair. Because and he was sick of it too. He, honestly, I bet my whole entire family was sick of it. I feel like they were literally all Your family. Sick of they it. were on their last leg with you. I'm the type of person that like, I have a pair of shoes that I really like, I'll just wear them all the time, like I just don't care. Manny is, he's very laid back. And you know what, I actually know, I saw a lot of comments on full coverage about my Air Force oh, ones. Oh, because you would wear them on the podcast all the time. Mm -hmm. That's a good gold. That's a good gold. Shit, that's gold. good. Shit, that's fresh. This is sunny, guys. Okay, okay, so the next one is, and I'm gonna let you take the stage, Manny. Manny's dating life and crazy things that happen to him, part two. I have a specific story, unless you have a better one, which Ooh. I'm game for, but I just want the guy in the shower with picking your back. Cause that one has always put me on That actually one. gave you the ick. That one gave me the ick so f***ing hard. It wasn't even just the shower picking of the hair. It was the whole experience that was yeah, horrific. Remember like so how right. I got there and it was hours later? You're so right. You guys, this was probably one of my most traumatizing hookup kind of experiences. This was purely a hookup, by the way. This wasn't like I was trying to go like... Date. Date. Like, it literally was like, hey, do you want to come over to my place after? And I said, yes. Okay. It was literally demon time for me. For me, I'm, I'm, I'm a wreck. Absolutely. I'm gonna wreck. Absolutely. So I went over, I get there, and he immediately is like, okay, come look at my balcony. I want you to see all my plants. So I'm like... Okay. So then we ended up like... Going to his room, he ends up having a full-blown vent session with me about his mom and how he has no longer a relationship with his mother. this is the first time he's met this Ever guy. met him. Yep. Again, this is a part of my my trauma of being Manny, of how people love to like trauma dump on me they immediately when I meet them. They love trauma dumping on you. We're an hour in and he's telling me about his mother and his sister and their trauma together. Babe, like I'm literally here to finish a job. Like I'm then not here for home. that. I'm home. Like I'm tired. It's literally like one in the morning. No. So then he's like, oh, I want to show you my favorite rapper. Oh, Lord. And then he starts showing me YouTube videos of his favorite rapper. Once we had gotten to video number three of the of the rapper. Oh my God. Video three. I go, you know what? I, um, I'm gonna get going. So right when I do that, he goes like this. He grabs me, starts pulling me in to make out with me. And I'm like, 
Girl, is this what all it took? I, I needed to say, like, I'm leaving for you to you needed act? that the moment you walked in the house. Like, Baby, that's the what second I got there, it needed to be that. It didn't need to be three hours later. Oh, my God. I was so pissed, you guys. I was so pissed. The deed had happened already. It was, like, not the best experience. Even doing that, it wasn't even, like, great. I don't like feeling like I'm just, like, a plaything. I want to be caressed. Yeah. I want to feel like I'm in a fantasy here, you know? Right. I don't want to feel like I'm a whole. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, right, cool. Like, the deed is done. We are in the shower. Cause he's like, do you want to shower real quick? I'm like, yes, like I want to shower off real quick. I'm in front of him and he's like kind of like wiping my back down or whatever. I feel a sting in the back of my neck. And I'm like, what the fuck? And, he, and I turn around and I'm like, what the hell? And he had plucked my back hair. And he was like, oh, you have a couple like back hairs. I'm just gonna pluck them all. Oh. He proceeds in the shower to pluck all my random back hairs I'm calling hairs that I had. one. I'm calling that one one. That can't happen. Babe. I have to this go. This man was in the shower. Plucking my back hair. That was the weirdest thing. Like to me, which there are variations of what people think are strange. I, it, it, it just honestly took me to another place. I've time. never gotten the ick more. Ever. Than that. Ever. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, our next question Sorry, is, what is the worst fight you ever had with each other? And a fight? And what happens? I don't know. The thing is, me and Manny are really good communicators. So we don't specifically like, fight or say mm -mm. i would say we've had best friend times at, manny calls it best friend time time out whenever i do something to piss him off he gives me a time out which is very fair it doesn't happen ever really i can truly say you have genuinely never ever ever done something intentionally to piss you off to piss me off so that's why we don't have a fight it's the only type of person I would fight with is if someone intentionally tried to hurt me. Trying to piss you off. I will say one time we had a best friend timeout. This was so long ago. Oh, tell me, I need to hear. You threw an event for Lunar Beauty and this was like one of your first events ever. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And you invited someone. Listen, I have no say in who Manny invites because he's paying for the event. It's his brand. Uh-huh. But he invited someone that I kind of felt bullied by online. Okay, I truly was like, wait, what are you talking about? Okay, yes, I remember, I remember, yes. I remember now. So I will say that is like a disagreement we had. Got it. But there was never a fight. I feel like when I found out after, I was like, I totally understand. I respect that 100%. Yeah. Like, it's weird because like when you're a brand owner too, like it's hard to just think of things personally all the time. You yeah, know, you like can. you can't like only think about things that happen in a personal way. You have to be like business a business person. Like, See, we have a different way about going about things mm -hmm. because like Manny is also very like forget and forgive, forgive and move on type of person. Like, okay, whatever, forget. move on. Very forget too. Very forget. <laughs> I feel like that's like a little sumpty. I'm using Mora, you guys, are you kidding me? I'm actually, I dipped into Mora and I did trivia and I did a little bit of what's going on to kind of give a more olive greenish tone type for the vibes. Cause Love I'm doing that. so much neutral. I'm like, let me give a little bit of a hint. Who is the usually the one to act like a mom when you're out at a festival? Daniel. <laughs> Literally, I was like, neither of us. Um, Daniel, not us. One million percent Daniel Prada. I feel like we can actually be pretty feral together, so I don't know yeah. if that would be us. Manny never tells anyone what to do. Never. But Manny's never like, you need to, you need nope, to slow nope, down. Nope. Or and he's like, girl, go do you. And the thing is, like, I also like because I don't drink. I enjoy like getting to be like wild and stuff like that with people that do drink. If that makes any sense. I like, honestly, I'm, I'm not like, trying to hold you back on anything. You like, should you do, do more. It. <laughs> like to everyone. Maybe do more. <laughs> Actually, if anything, live even harder. Live harder. So we just went out this last weekend for Pride. We sure did. And you guys, we were feral animals. animals. And like, we know that about that each other because like it was like, Laura doesn't go out as much for like, Wait, this is my general. favorite video. Not the one where I'm screaming. No. I'll Wait, show them, I want to show them the one I'm putting on the lip gloss. Oh my God, here's Manny making out with a guy. Look at that, y'all. <gasps> Laura Lee? That was us this, that's not the mama, okay? That was us this weekend. <laughs> You're like, oh, here's this video. Boom, boom. I did make out with two boys that night. I'm not gonna I tried lie. to get the first one on camera, but I couldn't get it fast enough. It was us, Daniel, Gabriel, Val, a bunch of us like ended up kind of going out and having a full blown like moment. And you guys, it was so much fun, but it oh was. Oh my God. <laughs> Laura, you're, you're in your seat. 
was so annoying. We were just being crazy. Like we were just being absolutely crazy. Who was your bestie before Manny? And same for you. Ooh. Who was your bestie before me? Who was your bestie before me? I feel like me? the bestie before you, I would say would be Patrick. Def 100%. Well, especially like not only like in a personal way, in a online way too. Capacity like people perceived too. us as oh, yeah. besties before us besties with you. 100%. I don't think I had like a specific yin and yang. Like I uh -huh. don't think, like when I met you, did I? Like no, I didn't have like no. a one person that but I the, go well, to. There was like that one girl that you were really close with. Yeah, then that, that like, was before you. So I would say, oh. have to say it was her. Laura, is your family back home as accepting and welcoming of LGBTQ as you are? Wow. I threw that one in there because I was like, this I love is that a question. Good question. That's a really good question. They're obsessed with Manny. So I low key feel like it doesn't count. You think? No, because I'm like, what if I brought home a gay person that was just like random? Like they're oh, obsessed got it, got with it, got you. It. Like specifically. Specifically, very specifically you. Got this it. is the thing. I do 100% think my family back home is accepting. Do not think they know every single in and out of it. I literally can tell you right now, if it wasn't Manny, I brought a gay person home or someone who's a part of the LGBTQ community home for mm -hmm. Christmas, I think they would treat them with so much kindness. And respect. There would be no would be. awkwardness whatsoever and respect. Mm -hmm. I think that's great because you don't have to be understanding of something to be respectful of something. And that's just true tea. You don't have to understand it to be respectful. Right, right, exactly. You don't. So nice because, again, in our country, it is a very scary place to be gay and trans in certain like places of- Would Manny ever be down to hook up with a girl? What, can you define hook up for me? Have what, what sex. Oh my God, penetrative? Mm -hmm. I would not be down with that. I feel like the internet really needs to hear this because of the be amount of thirst these women out here have for you. I do be having some thirst, I will say. They do, and I'm like, they need to know. I'm not gonna lie, it's like really a hard no for me when it comes to anything that severe. <laughs> Making out, absolutely. That doesn't even count. Anything like with Penetrate. a vagina. Yeah. Oh if, if yeah, someone was like, anything with that. Anything with that. And they're like, even if they were like, Go ahead and put a finger in there. I just couldn't do it. Yeah. Also, I know I wouldn't be able to get hard. Yeah. I would feel guilty about that. I'd be like, I'm sorry, like I can't get hard. Like I don't know what to do. There's your answer. How will your friendship change when Manny is no longer single? Ooh. That's a good question. Well, it won't change. Yeah. So I think that's how it'll change. Manny goes out like all the time too, and mm -hmm. I'm like at home asleep on my couch. So we still like live different lives. Yeah. Even though we're best friends, like we still have different things going. Like, cause he's single and you know. I live. He lives. Especially like this is like the time like for me to live, if oh, you will, since yes. I'm literally single boots. You're living. Would be kind of cute though to have a man and let's say like my man is like besties with your man. That would be very How cute. How cute. Ty's got a lot of gay friends. Exactly. So I'm like, that would be like so adorable. Like imagine like little like bestie time. with The, the way I was like, I'm not going to be full brand today. Laura, what happened? What happened to you? What's our favorite memory together? We have so many. Honestly, that's so hard, dude. Like, let's think like of one so that we many. like a lot though. <gasps> the black eyeshadow got me on the floor. <laughs> the what? The black Oh, 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 no, Lord, no. It just no. got me. It just got me. I remember when we went to Vegas and you pissed yourself. God, see, the that's one of the best ones. That's honestly one of my favorite memories. That is one of the had. best ones ever. We bring that up all the time, and it that was, was so, so long ago. That was so funny, y'all. I drank too I don't much. Know what happened. We were with Tyler and uh, it was us, but we were, what were we doing? We were in my hotel room mm -hmm. and Manny had this balloon because I think the brand put balloons in our room and he popped it while I was doing nothing. I don't know. Oh, I you're washing your face. Yes, that's what it was. I was washing my face and he popped the balloon and it scared me. And the so shit it was just so funny. I just started peeing everywhere. Laura got so scared and we started laughing so hard that she started pissing all over the The entire bathroom of the hotel was soaked in piss. It wasn't like a little pee was no. Oh, running down my legs. Like bladder. I just let my bladder go and I did a full pee. Like if Laura laughs really hard, she will pee. I will pee everywhere. It I took you out, it, it took me out of the game when I saw all the piss on the floor. Do you remember when we were all playing Super Smash at your apartment? We almost got in trouble from like the people almost, because we were going too the crazy. Neighbor the neighbors come over. Nikita was jumping up and down so hard and my downstairs neighbor literally cussed Tyler up and mm -hmm. down. 
like it, at the time it was traumatic, but it was so funny. And we all hid in the back now, room, and he chewed Tyler out. No, we've had we've had a lot of amazing experiences. We have. That, and like we've traveled a lot of places too that have been amazing. Like we've Fiji been to Bora Bora, was really good. Fiji. Like we've done amazing, amazing trips that were fucking dope. Phenom. Have we ever drunkenly kissed? Manny drunkenly kissed? Well, Manny doesn't drink. I don't drink, but we definitely kissed. Yeah, but we weren't drunk. Mm -mm. It was weren't drunk completely sober. <laughs> yeah. Wait, was it for? It was like a truth or dare video, I think. I think so. Oh my god, do you remember those with Jacqueline? Yes, Jacqueline truth or dare. We did it with Nikita and Gabriel, I think. Oh too. my god, I kissed Nikita. You kissed Nikita. One. So we definitely have kissed, not like in a drunken stupor. Mm -mm. Do you know what's funny? I actually like. I have a, like a thing like my close friends. Like I don't have feel the urge to kiss. Yeah, no. Like I don't feel that. Like I don't feel the urge to kiss. Like for example, people always ask me. They're like, "Are you ever gonna get with Daniel?" Oh yeah. And I'm like, Oh, I know you have tried to get us together. I get that. I'm taking milk tea liner, by the way. Love that. Okay, last questions. Were you two still friends when there was drama with other beauty creators? I don't know. What does that mean? I don't really know what that means. Maybe were we still friends when we had drama? When there was drama with other creators. Like other when they're going through drama, are we friends? <laughs> yep, we're still friends when they're going through drama. Still friends when we're That's going I'm like, through um, drama. Yeah, we're still friends when. And we were still friends when we were going through drama. Uh-huh. We definitely weren't like hanging out every day because we were mentally unwell. We were very unwell. We weren't like in the mood to like vibe and get dinner. No, no, I was like, I don't really want to no. do anything. Yeah, we'll mm -mm. just stay in on this We one. did travel to New York once though. Oh, we did. <laughs> during, during that. We, we did a, a Tony cult. Robbins. We joined a, you guys, when we got canceled, we joined a cult. And then we walked on hot coals. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, so when we got canceled, we were we were doing things that were like, you know what? Let's go ahead and find ourselves. Let's, let's just like do our own thing. Let's rediscover life. Yeah, let's rediscover what life is like without socials. Literally. We, we were off it for a month and two months, you know? So we I was like, let's. Tickets. We so we booked tickets to go see Tony Robbins. We went there, we did a show. By it the end really of it, we were like, we gotta go. Which, by the way, I took a lot away with me from that and tools that I've used in my everyday life since. So like there's been good things too. Yeah, of really course. good stuff that yes. came out of it. It's just a lot of funny moments. Very funny. We often met one of our friends there yes. that we still love to this day. Yes. You guys, with that being said, buy our collection. Check Let's out see. the Full Fantasy now. Check it our out. Our limited edition Full Fantasy collection. Because once it sells out, we're not reordering. Mm -hmm. And I'm not even being facetious, like dead ass. We're being very dead ass with that. We're not gonna reorder. We're just gonna let it be what it is and let this kind of be a little moment for us. A capsule. A capsule collection. A capsule collection for the dolls. Oh my God, we look so fucking pretty. We do, we turned it out. All right, guys, this is our looks with our collection. Don't forget to check it out. We will have it available tomorrow at 10 a.m. PST, Pacific Standard Time. We'll have it on both websites you can purchase it from. And yeah, we would love your support on this. So thank you, guys. Don't forget to tag us in your looks. Don't forget to watch Manny's video. Yeah. We'll also have a podcast going up talking about the collection a little more. The names. <laughs> we're going to kind of give a little bit more of like explanation of things if you guys want to see that, if you guys want to see a little bit more. And of course, we're going to insert clips of like them swatched, what the shades look like, everything like that. So everything will be linked down below. And we'll catch you guys in our next video. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. We love you. Bye. Bye.